and uh, code process is always based and for beginners i would recommend edcoder is having because lead code will be easier for you but i think code process is much more difficult Mm-hmm. And interesting as well. You are not. You are getting frustrated, bro. I am just using one very hacky strategy. So what I I was used to do is. I... So hi everyone. Today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Om. So Om, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah. Hello everyone. My name is Om Ashish Kumar Soni. I am final year student at uh, the Ramsey Desai University, Computer Science and Engineering, and I will be joining Master Guard as an SD one. and uh, i am i used to do competitive programming i am expert on code courses i am first star at code chef i am gyan at code at coder and i am uh, max rating 2200 on lead code i was guardian and currently i am knight on lead code so uh, i i am i am having fond of competitive programming previously i have done some internship in startups and yes i have also interest in development as well with that yeah so like he said like you can see from his profile also he has been doing computer programming for quite some time now and he has also seen very good results he has been doing great in computer programming so that's how i also found his profile so i wanted to have a discussion with him because uh, since quite some time i'm seeing this trend that most of the people who come on my channel who crack product based companies most of them have done computer programming at some time or are very good at problem solving so to a certain extent i would say computer programming can help you in your placement journey if you are doing good in computer programming not necessarily obviously you can still do dsa so let me hear from you because you are a recent graduate you cracked a product based company recently how would you say cp has helped you in placements or getting an edge yeah so generally what happens so before we enter into the company means before even interview itself after resume shortlisting there is a round called a coding round Mm-hmm. so it there might be one there might be many so if you want to crack the coding round the computer programming and problem solving skills is necessary i mean lot of people are saying that uh, only data structure and algorithm will work yes that will work but uh, only if you have done decent amount of problem in that if some new problem comes then uh, you won't be able to do that so mm-hmm. if you are a competitive programmer you have generalized problem solving skills mm-hmm. and if you have sufficient if you have done sufficient amount of competitive programming problems quality problems and in proper quantity then you will be able to crack this because your mindset is set for problem solving it is generalized not only particular uh, topic or something like she don't right how would you say that doing computer programming competes against doing lead code or doing dsa would you say they're similar or different lead code is uh, data structure algorithm platform and it's it's quite good for if you are only looking for placements but uh, if you want to go for if you want to go for product based companies like google amazon microsoft and all, all other like mastercard and all those so uh, for that you sh- you are, you should not be limited to only lead code i mean if you want to limit yourself to data structure and algorithm try giving the weekend contest like lead code has week and by weekly so that kind of problems and if some sometimes what happens with your problem solving skills your speed and accuracy also matters like mm-hmm. uh, you should not have multiple wrong solution before accepting the problem right so kind of the competition is is uh, is seen in your code forces contest or your course of contest or even in lead code contest the competition is really there so if you want to do lead code then try giving contest as well on lead code and uh, i think lead code which is also be- uh, better yeah. platform yes, uh, yes, if you want yes. to go for it and uh, code forces is always best and for beginners i would recommend edcoder is having very good problems mm-hmm. for if you are looking for competitive program but yeah they are not different they they are, i think competitive programming is super set of dsa mm-hmm. yeah exactly so they are not totally different mm-hmm. So, how would you say when giving a code forces contest versus giving a lead code contest? What would you say would be more difficult? I think code forces would be much more. I think ten into difficult because if you see lead code contest, everyone would be able to solve at least three. Mm-hmm. I think even right. if hard is hard. टू तो लोग कर ही लेंगे आई मीन दस मिनट तो उसमें कोई दिक्कत नहीं है फोर्थ प्रॉब्लम ऑफ लीड कोड इज वेरी एंड इफ यू हैव डन डिसेंट अकाउंट ऑफ फोर्थ प्रोसेस प्रोबेबली इन हाफ एन आवर यू विल बी क्रैक ऑल ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स बिकॉज़ लीड कोड इज हैविंग फोर प्रॉब्लम्स एंड ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स आर लाइक प्लेसमेंट डिफिकल्टीज और फोर्थ प्रॉब्लम होगा ना वो प्लेसमेंट का सबसे हार्ड प्रॉब्लम होगा 
डीएसए राउंड में जो क्वेश्चन पूछते हैं उसमें सबसे हार्ड प्रॉब्लम जो होगा वो फोर्थ जैसा होगा लेकिन कॉम्पिटेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग इज लाइक मच मोर इन्वॉल्विंग मैथमेटिक्स आल्सो इन क्यू नॉट ओनली लाइक डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एंड एल्गोरिथम सो योर क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग स्किल्स मैटर वर्ड है सो इफ यू इफ यू आर डूइंग फोर ऑन लीक वर प्रोबेबली यू विल बी एबल टू डू ए बी सी ऑफ लीक वन कोड कोर्स सो ए बी सी डी ऑन But if you are looking for D1A, D1A would be difficult for those yeah, yeah. Kind of like uh, if you have done decent amount of code courses, later on you will get better for you. But But I I think think code code courses courses is is much more difficult. Yeah, code courses are much more more difficult. difficult. Yeah, yeah. And and interesting. So we can generally say like uh, engineering is like engineering uh, engineering like 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 we can generally say like, if someone is doing computer programming, for sure they would not be <clears throat> having problems with lead code, right? So if someone is let's say even an expert, I'm not saying candidate master or master, even expert or specialist on code forces, they can easily glide through the DSA problems of lead code. So uh, I think if you have done code forces, then you will be doing well. But uh, if you have done code forces, you will not be facing the linked list and pre problems mm-hmm. as you see on lead code, as you see on the interview perspective. So mm-hmm. if you are completing the program. Do linked list and pre, you have to do. I mean mm-hmm. that is the thing that will not be in. डेफिनेटली So one more thing I want to ask you, एक रिलेक्टेंस होता है बहुत लोगों का कि कंप्यूटर प्रोग्रामिंग नहीं करने से इवन इफ दे वॉन्ट टू क्योंकि बहुत लोगों को लगता है कंप्यूटर प्रोग्रामिंग सबके बस की बात नहीं है यू नो कोई कर ले रहा है एक्सपर्ट बन जा रहा है बहुत लोग सोचते हैं कि दे विल नॉट परफॉर्म वेल वट वुड यू से टू दैट Yeah, this is. I think this is my favorite question. I I think I am the best example of it. So some people are like, uh, uh, some people are like really their their IQ is really high. High, so gifted. They have to. They have. They don't have to work uh, very much hard up to that IQ. So yeah. if you have IQ of some level, you will be going in first contest. Also, you will be able to solve up to that. But the rest of the thing is what that you have. Uh, we are humans. Uh, we we can learn. We can implement. We can upgrade ourselves. We can upskill ourselves. So it will take little bit, little more time rather than that person who is God gifted. Mm-hmm. So I think consistency, motivation, and practice uh, that uh, that makes here over here. So if I if I tell about me. uh in first semester uh, i was introduced to little bit about competitive programming so in second semester i have started i done uh, I, i i i can openly say that i have solved 500 problems hmm. on code set uh, and even uh, they are like a cake work easy medium kind of uh, problems and uh, i was not getting improvement from i think i reached up to two star three star after three star i was not getting improvement I was stuck in post uh, in third sem uh, so in second semester I have done decent amount of means mm-hmm. the problem was I the my problem solving strategy I I was only solving math problem I mm-hmm. I, I and uh, so that I was only solving maths but the problem is uh, only mathematics problems are not there there are string problems there are combinatorics mm-hmm. problems. Uh, there there are lot amount of uh, new data structures that i have to learn so that that uh, that went away in second semester and in third semester i started lead code that was little bit beneficial to me because i have solved uh, uh, tree problems i learned recursion i solved tree problems graph problems uh, little bit i have solved so data structures i have learned in third semester and in third semester what happened that i want to development like uh, i was learning mean stack mean stack and all yeah. those technology react native So in four semester again I became two star on four semester. So four semester mm-hmm. was on high on those days. Even even better than four four semester mm-hmm. I would say right. uh, on those days. So in four semester what I have observed I got one kickstart motivation. IIT Bombay has organized one contest and in that uh, what happened that I was able to solve the problem which others were not able to. So mm-hmm. I got very good count of rank. I think in uh, top one zero three I was. so that was at that time it was really great motivation for me and what i done is i started learning i started learning every day i was learning new data structures new algorithm i picked up one geeks for big blog for guide to competitive yeah. programming in, uh, in and that blog all the resources i i just i was just learning just learning and implementing so after one month what happened that i appear into co- the contest 
no concept was new to me i mean i was easy to able to crack four to five problems so the thing is i i uh, the first point is i get kick start motivation in that iit bombay contest of course mm-hmm. the second thing is consistency in learning so i have learned so many things from tushar roy uh, youtube channel is there for algorithm yeah, yeah, yeah. it was really good i mean i i was just learning and i learned uh, in that way like uh, in one month i have completed almost data structures and algorithm mm-hmm. so that was the peak time for me and then after that uh, just practice and practice so the consistency motivation and practice but I, i think there are three pillars of competitive program that help them me a lot and then after uh, according to that uh, one new uh, some something like you you could not solve the problem you can up solve after the one yeah. so it you can then learn but uh, that is not the thing like for some special or something like no that is not the thing mm-hmm. Yeah, like, and like you said about absorbing, right? Computer programming, can I say you get a practice or a habit of absorbing. So if you're going for placements, right, and then some companies you get some problems, you're not able to solve them, you get rejected. So yeah. that computer programming inside you, that soul will bring you to absorb those problems to figure out where you went wrong. So that also helps you out with placements or improving your problem-solving skills. या या कॉम्पिटिटिव प्रोग्राम अगर आपने कॉम्पिटिटिव प्रोग्राम किए ना तो प्लेसमेंट का कोडिंग राउंड तक कोई कोई ऐसा दिक्कत नहीं है कोई है ही नहीं उसका इफ आई से इन माय केस आई हैव अपीयर्ड फॉर वर्ल्ड्स टफेस्ट कॉम्पिटिटिव कोडिंग राउंड आई मीन कोडिंग राउंड ऑफ लाइक कोऑर्डिनेशन इफ यू हैव ट्रिक बायोलॉजी प्लेसमेंट आई हैव इन माय फिफ्थ सेमेस्टर इटसेल्फ सो आई वाज आई हैव अपीयर्ड द सो देयर प्रॉब्लम्स आर लाइक कोर्स कोर्सेस मास्टर लेवल प्रॉब्लम्स बट I was just like this is not the PS round, this is not the hiring round. This is a contest, and I have to solve. Mm-hmm. I was able to solve one, two, and four. So A, B, and D. C, mm-hmm. I was making up out of time, but uh, that was the case. If you have sufficient competitive drawing, yeah, na, then wo bahut hi. मतलब वो इतनी अच्छी चीज है कि normal लोग नहीं करते वो. अगर आपकी consistency और practice है, तो ही आप कर पाओगे. वो तो है. Oh, Edge एक आ जाएगा. You're right. Normal लोग जो नहीं कर रहे हैं ना, उनसे somewhere in problem solving skills एक थोड़ा edge आ जाएगा. If you're consistently solving problems doing CP. Yeah. Right. Right. And the main thing is right. People kind of take pressure upon themselves. मेरे को feel होता है. Rating को लेके उनको लगता है improve नहीं हो रहा तो छोड़ देते हैं. <clears throat> you just need to do it consistently. Don't focus on ratings की specialist नहीं बन रहे, expert नहीं बन रहे. That is fine. You're still learning. Exactly. The if you if you take pressure in the like company hiring is there and coding round is there, so that is the different thing and that is the learning. BSA is the learning. But if you see the competitive round, it is like sports. So mm-hmm. people, most people they they take it like a game. I take it like a game. I enjoy it. But if mm-hmm. I take it like a burden, I have to solve corpuses D or yeah. something. Then then it is then it is pressure for me and it will harm my health health as well. Mm-hmm. Exactly. That is the thing. Yeah. So, like in concluding, Lee, what uh, I would suggest, and I believe you would agree on this, is that I think every guy who's looking for becoming a software engineer should at least try once computer programming. Right? If if you feel exactly right, if you feel that you really love it, then go ahead. It will help you in all way. Like I would not say computer programming will harm you in any way. If you're doing it, whether you need placement, or you need to go to ML, and regardless of what field you want to go to, web development. Yeah, I would like a, a small point. I am I am into analytic research, and uh, I was training deep learning neural networks yeah. in Python. There also computer programming helped me. I, I mean, <laughs> it helped me not directly. Yeah. Directly. Even even if uh, in real life as well, many data structures will help you. The normal mm-hmm. people will not be able to solve that. So that that is the. Point. Yeah, exactly. Even in uh, web development, backend, you see that problem solving kind, yeah. वो आ जाता है ना, like that uh, thing inside you, उसको तुम use कहीं भी कर सकते हो. Not necessarily yeah, computer programming. Yeah, automatically, yeah, automatically yeah. तुम्हारा mind आ जाता है. उस point में. Exactly. Yeah. And DSA, like again to repeat, DSA तो सबसे बड़ा course है. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Ye
और दूसरी चीज जो मुझे बहुत पसंद आती है मैं जनरली एडिटोरियल नहीं देखता हूँ मुझे पसंद आती है कि उसको बैक ऑफ द माइंड रखो मैं एक मैंने एक बार इंडिया रैंक वन उत्कर्ष गुप्ता का वीडियो देखा था वो हमारे कॉलेज में तो उसने क्या बोला था कि अगर आपसे प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व नहीं हो पा रहा है तो बैक ऑफ द माइंड रखो एक ट्रेड बनाओ उसका और नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम से स्विच कर जाओ और इन आई हैव इन माई लाइफ आई हैव सीन लाइक रीटकोर का बहुत ही हार्ड प्रॉब्लम है दो महीने पहले देखा था दो महीने बाद आइडिया स्ट्राइक हुआ कंप्यूटर पे बैठा और होगा तो वो एक चीज है कि आप अगर आपके पास टाइम बहुत कम है आप फोर्थ ईयर में हो थर्ड ईयर में देखो अगर आप फर्स्ट सेकंड ईयर में हो उसको माइंड रखो मीन्स उसमें भी बहुत मजा आता है आप प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व करने के लिए सोच रहे हो डीप में उससे लर्निंग बहुत होती है उसके आपका कोहेजन इंक्रीज होता है मोटिवेशन should have we must have yeah exactly if you solve without looking at the editorial right there is not a single problem to topic sai aur tum nahi kar paoge fir fir ek kar liya to tum sare us topic ke kar loge so agar agar ek hafte mein ya fir do teen din mein nahi hota hai to dekhne mein bhi koi dikkat nahi hai stress nahi lena matlab ki nahi ho raha nahi ho raha karke frustrated ho using one very hacky strategy so what i i was used to do is uh, out of my comfort zone i read the problem before sleeping <laughs> and important <laughs> because i have read read somewhere that uh, uh, you you are having two parts of brain one is sleeping and one is awakening because otherwise you will not be uh, awakening so yeah 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 so one part is sleeping there so you can use those seven eight hours on night <laughs> एडिटोरियल one really bad thing i am noticing on uh, lead, uh, on linkedin as well that people are misguiding like consistency build karo uh, hashtag day, 100 days of code aap easy easy karte jaoge koi improvement nahi hai maine 500 mein kiya tha maine improve mera improvement sirf match mein hua other things mein nahi hua so consistency rakho lekin aapko apna level up le jana hai down nahi jana hai reach nahi karna hai medium tak jana hai medium ho raha hai hard tak jana hai new topics sikhne hai algorithm sikhne hai lekin wo to bhi nahi karna hai wo jo 100 days maine itni consistency nahi hai wo pasand bhi nahi hai lekin pro wala consistency nahi hai agar aap job kar rahe ho aapko time nahi milta hai har roz ek kar rahe ho wo theek hai lekin agar aapko interview crack karna hai wo that that random kind of thing will not not work कंफ्यूज in first year second year what they have to do i hope they'll watch this video and get some insight for it so thanks a lot om for coming on my channel discussing this with me sharing your journey as well i hope it will help a lot of students thank you thank you so much